Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospel Missions and Abode for Children. And I was reading an article the other day talking about um, the lack of priestly vocations, vocations in general. And over the next few weeks, I think I'm going to be sharing um, what we can do, I think what we can do, to, to fix some of this. And it goes back to our roles within the church. What, what are our roles? And, you know, both male and female. Um, what are our roles? As a husband and father, my role is to try to lead my family um, into a deeper relationship with our Lord and Savior and His church. Along with my wife is to, to educate them in the faith and support them and try to try to be that um, witness of the fatherly God the Father in heaven. And I do it probably in a very poor manner. I, I realize that. I am not the epitome of, you know, fatherhood. Um, I make my mistakes. I lose my patience. I get angry. And, um, but we all, I think, have our, our lacking in one form or fashion. But the first thing that we need to recognize is that what we've been doing over the past 50 years is not working. I just call it what it is. It's not working. People are leaving the church in droves. We have lack of, you know, uh, belief in the Blessed Sacrament. You got over 50% of people think it's okay for homosexuals to marry, meaning that the homosexual act is okay. You know, um, yes, the person needs to be respected, but the act does not. Close to 90% of people are contracepting. That means they're, they're playing God with having children. Over 50% of Catholics think abortion's okay. And I think it's something like 20% of Catholics go to Mass on Sunday. Where are we heading? You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And I remember once sitting down with a bishop, and he asked me, you know, because I built a, a server program that encouraged boys to serve at the altar, to try to encourage them to consider the priesthood. And he said, well, you know, don't you think girls could get a calling to religious life through serving at the altar? And I said to him, I, you know, if that was the case, our convents would be overflowing overflowing because we've been encouraging girls to serve at the altar for the past 40, 50 years. I remember them taking our cassocks away from us when we were younger and putting us in those white robes because we had girls that were going to start serving. We didn't need any girls. It was all a push for women ordination and women in the diaconate, we're still hearing about it in the church. I mean, it's like it gets resurrected. The 70s are back. The 70s were an abomination. 60s and 70s. When it comes to faith in the 80s. What are we going to do? Well, first and foremost, we need to pray. We need to pray more. We need to pray the rosary our Lady of Fatima said, you know, pray the rosary daily for peace. Pray for poor sinners. Make reparation. And we need to do it more. Now, we get together every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and we it's called Our Lady's Power Hour. You can go on to gospa.org, Gospa dot org, G-O-S-P-A dot org, and register. If you can't make it at 9 p.m. on Wednesday, I send it out on Sunday as a recording, and we have a reflection by a good and holy priest, a lot of times Bishop Strickland out of the Diocese of Tyler, Texas. 
But join us praying for peace. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking about what can we do? And this is my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. But I'm, I'm trying. And if we're not trying, we're dying. Come join us. Let's pray for peace in our church, in our country, in our world, in our families. And that's what we do every Wednesday night. Come with us and let's pray together. God bless you and have a great day.